What's up, what's up guys? Just want to tell you what happened a little earlier. At first I was going to make this just like a regular post on my Facebook, just write it out. But I kind of wanted to make a video, I figured why not. A little earlier in the afternoon, I went to go work out in my gym here at my apartments. And when I got in there, uh, the first kind of workout I do is like some squats and I do this like overhead thing and just kind of do like, you know, like a little cardio stuff to kind of get my heart up a little bit and I do some squats. But before I started, I just said a prayer. I said, you know, it's Palm Sunday. I'm gonna say a prayer before I work out here. I said, Lord, Father, thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for allowing me to be here, for giving me the strength to even work out, to get up, to even wake up in the morning, right? And then I look up at the TV screen and there's a scene from the second Hunger Games uh, movie with Liam, Liam Hemsworth. And it's a scene where he's just getting lashed. He's just getting lashings, lashings, and lashings to his back. And of course, I'm like thinking like, wow, it's Palm Sunday, you know, right away I'm thinking about Jesus in my mind, right? Because this is, this is what Jesus went through right before he was thrown up on the crucifix. So of course that made me think of that. I'm over here working out, doing my thing. And I'm like, all right, you know, after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the treadmill real quick. So I'll get on the treadmill, I do some, you know, some just walking on the incline, doing my thing. And all of a sudden, um, I look up again and I see Liam Hemsworth. He's on the, it's like a kitchen table. He's just passed out. And I see uh, Katniss, the, the Katniss, uh, the main character, and she's, you know, next to him consoling him. And I'm thinking in my head, like, man, right away I start thinking about, uh, you know, Mary. I start thinking about Mary, how she was right next to her son, you know, when all this happened to him. And then after that, all of a sudden, the wedding march starts to pop, you know, pops up on my, my headphones, my little headphones and I'm like whoa this is something this is trippy dude you know and first of all you're like bright thinking why would you have the wedding march on your on your phone anyways but I do have it because of you know like certain um, uh, movie edits that I do on iMovie I like to mess around with iMovie really it was just Jesus talking to me right but when that music goes off when that music went off I look down at the treadmill and I look at the time that's passed is three minutes, 33 seconds, and I burned 33 calories right at that, mo at that moment. And oh my goodness, like, this is even a bigger sign. Like, Jesus is trying to talk to me, you know, because I always think of Jesus, you know, he passed away when he was 33. And then 333, three, three, I just think of it, the Holy Trinity, you know, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. So right away, I'm always seeing those numbers and I'm like, dude, God is really trying to talk to me, you know, through this with the wedding march music and you're probably thinking, what does that have to do? Well, you know, as the church, we are the bride, you know, and Jesus is the groom, the groom that's going to come back, the loyal, the loyal God that he is, he's going to come back and he's going to save us. And this is what we believe as the church. We are the bride. So it's on this Palm Sunday, I hope and I pray for you, my brother and sister, that Jesus comes into your life like the way he came into Jerusalem. You accept him into your heart. And the next thing, what happens right after he goes into the temple and he starts to get rid of all people selling things and doing things they shouldn't be doing in the temple. And he can come into your life and fix all the bad things and, and clean you from the inside, cleanse you, the ultimate redeemer, my brothers and sisters. So God bless you guys. And I hope this story kind of shows you that God can talk to you in many ways. You know, he talks to me in my way. He'll talk to you in your way because he's your father and he's going to know how to talk to you. All you have to do is is ask and, and say, hey, Lord, Jesus, Father, help me, right? I'm here. I want to learn. I want to know about you. God bless you guys on this Palm Sunday.